We welcome Hannah Selke to the Beyond the Game series, and Hannah's a two-sport athlete. Hannah, thanks for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. That's awesome. I'm going to ask you a series of questions, okay? Okay. And then we'll go from there. So can you uh, tell us how you first got started in basketball? Um, so when I was younger, I would watch my dad and my brother practice outside, and then I would also watch my brother's games. And I just became interested and I wanted to start playing. So my dad taught me how to play and I started playing travel in third grade. Wow. Uh, one or two words to describe you. Um, I would say persistent because if I know I want something, I don't give up. So like if I want to learn a new move or a new shot, I keep practicing it until I can do it in a game. And I would also say caring because I'm always looking out for others and I always want to make people feel accepted and included. So you know a little bit about pressure. In fact, I remember your freshman year in a sectional game, you're hitting about five or six three-pointers. You remember that? Yeah. Uh, so what mental tools do you use to handle that pressure? Um, well, I don't really see like sports as really a pressure that much because I really try to enjoy the game because I really like it. And I always feel like prepared because I put in the work in and out of the season. But if I do feel it, I try to use visualization because I like to visualize myself having success before my game. So like I'll see myself making shots that way I'll feel more confident during the game. What's your favorite memory? Well, I have two. So um, like you said, starting in the semifinals as a freshman and hitting some big threes because that was pretty exciting. And then last year, helping my team to win the Moreau County division title. Nice. What's the best advice anybody's ever given you? Um, probably that there's nothing stopping you from achieving your goal except yourself. Like you're really the biggest obstacle and you can do anything if you put your mind to it. So how has playing sports and being part of athletics uh, helped you in other parts of your life? Well, athletics has been a big part of my life. So it's mainly helped me with my time management skills because I've always just had like a practice or a game right after school. And I've had to get my homework done in like a certain amount of time and get everything I needed to be done. So like now I'm able to do other tasks quickly and I'm able to like manage my time very well because of it. So speaking of your time, I know you are practicing and competing a lot, but when you aren't doing those things, what are some things you like to do in your free time? Well, there's not much free time, <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy hanging out with my friends and family because I always have a good time with them. So who's inspired you? You're obviously a role model. And one, one of the great things about our community is young kids come to the game and they see the varsity players. And you probably remember when you were younger, feeling the same way. And you're a role model for those. But who, who's been your role models? Um, I have a couple people that inspire me, but mostly my younger brother, Tanner, because he has Down syndrome and he does not have the ability to play sports like I can. So I always work hard because I know that he would love to be able to do what I can do. So I try to play for him. And then my dad has always been there for me throughout my whole basketball career. And he's always pushed me to be the best player I can be. And he's taught me a lot and he's given me confidence in my game. And then lastly, Coach Willoughby, because he's always inspired me to be a really good player and a good person and he's always believed in me. Wow, it's good, good, good company right there. So we asked a couple under undergraduates uh, to ask a couple questions. So favorite thing about playing at HFL? I would say the community because every time there's a game, like the whole community knows about it and they all try to make it. And then a lot of times after my games, I'll come into school the next day and like all my friends will be asking about it and my teachers will know about it and they'll ask about my game. So it's really nice to know that there's like a lot of people who care about sports. So what are, what's a life lesson that basketball has taught you? Um, definitely to work hard in everything you do because if you put in that extra work, you're always going to get success. So you just got to 
work hard to be successful. So one, two, two final questions. One is, uh, what do you want people to know about Hannah? Um, I would want them to know that I always put in the extra work both in and out of season and I try to lead by example. And I also want them to know that I'm dedicated to my game and I'm always looking out for my teammates and others and supporting them. And then what advice do you have for younger athletes coming up? Um, I got a couple things, but first off, if you're a younger athlete on a team with like a bunch of older players, don't be scared and like not play to your best ability just because you think they won't like you or you won't fit in. Because from my experience, you just have to be confident and play to your best ability because you should know like there was a reason that you were pulled up and there shouldn't be anything stopping you. And then most importantly, don't take things for granted because the sooner you know it, it's gonna go by really fast and you won't realize it until it's your senior year. And I never realized my senior year would be like this. And I've always dreamed of getting to the sectional finals with my senior teammates and it might not happen this year. So enjoy every moment of that journey and because it goes by really fast and nothing is ever guaranteed. That's great advice. And I hope we get the chance for you to be in that sectional final. I know yeah, you play sure. lacrosse as well. Um, yeah. And you know I'm feeling optimistic about that season, but we're gonna work real hard to make sure we get you back on the basketball court because I know it's a love of yours. So, yeah. and I really thank you for joining us and in, in, in giving us a chance to introduce you to the community while your season's on pause. So thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we'll see you soon. Bye.